Hey everybody, it's Adam with Front Range Drum Contractors. Um, out here today doing a really complex job, and so I wanted to show you guys what we're doing here, what kind of tools we're using. Um, we are on a roof that has two levels of roofing. This one and this one. And this top one actually overhangs the lower level by several feet. Sorry. It's a good two feet there. And there is like no clearance to get a nail gun back there. As a matter of fact, I got this hammer here. And this shingle right here needs some nails in it. Obviously I'm gonna do more up there, but that's the one that I'm at now. Honestly, it's barely enough to get a nail in there. In between. Let's see. I want to put the nail right there. I'm gonna push it in a little bit with my finger to get it started. Can't really get much power behind that, right? So maybe I turn it this way. Well, that really stinks too. Now you guys might want to turn your volume down for this. I've actually got earplugs in. Because it's super loud. What I've got here is a Craftsman. It's called a Nextech Auto Hammer. Little Hammerhead Shark logo up there. And this is a hammer for places that don't have much clearance. So what you do is you, it's magnetic, put the nail up inside there, squeeze the trigger. So, like I said, turn your volume down. I'm not left-handed and I don't have much leverage with that hand either. Oops, there we go. But goes in just fine with my right hand. Even doing it upside down like that. So I'm gonna put three or four nails in there, like the shingle manufacturer requires. Even though it's two feet, zero clearance. As you can see, this wasn't done correctly the first time. Basically what happened was, right along, right along the edge here, they put like two nails right here and right here in each of the shingles and then assumed that the native glue or uh, roofing cement on the shingles would hold all the shingles together and two nails would kind of hold them in place. Well, they get a lot of wind up here and that just didn't happen. So, I'm out here to get this taken care of the right way. Have a good one, everybody.